Probably and, not going to be able to camp as much as he usually likes to, but... And we all know AT is super good at uh, pl playing against aggressive people. Yeah. Also, he has a wolf. And uh, Zero Suit Summons, he mains also yeah. them. Um, but his main main is Ness. He actually so might even be playing Palu this time, because I know AT like, uh, just recently picked up Palu. But I was talking to Quinn a couple weeks ago, and he's talking about how he loves playing against Palu, because... Uh, we Fit Trainer's crouch is so low that if you nair or fair in neutral, uh, just completely, we Fit Trainer completely bypasses it. Yeah. Because of the crouch. So, mm -hmm. we are going to see, looks like we are going to see Ness coming in. Ness versus we Fit Trainer, as we were talking about earlier. So, got Quinn and Yeah, AT. AT. Meaning all business here. He's not playing around with any character. He's just going to use his try and true. Looks like they're starting on Pokemon Stadium 2. Probably gonna see deep breathing coming in immediately, yeah. Nest gang. <laughs> yeah, nest gang. Looks like AT reflecting the soccer ball. I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about that before, mm -hmm. so that's even makes it even harder for Quinby if he's gonna be reflecting his his soccer ball with that F smash. That air dodge, just oh my goodness. Possibly a see how low that was. Possibly a strategic play allowing Quinn to charge up the sun there. Possibly be able to reflect it later. These a lot trades. Of coming in. So you notice they are trading a lot, and AT is really getting the upper hand, which is really odd because We Fit Trainer does have deep breathing. Yeah. But it seems like he's not able to get all those strings that he really right likes. Really nice conversion there using the PK Thunder to bring him all the way up to that upper platform. That dare to get rid of the Thunder. Trying to I, use PSI Max, so. possibly trying to hit the ball back. Not being able to do that so far. Guess it's guess it's energy based. I love watching Ness run because it reminds me of like uh, a little so, someone trying to run like uh, Naruto. Naruto. Yeah. Because <laughs> like he he puts his arms out, but we are seeing a nice uh, off stage nair. Yeah. You no, know, we all love AT. He always likes teabagging on people when yeah. whenever he takes a stock. Probably probably likes getting in their heads and making them mad because he loves. He loves running away. Like, see, we're we rarely see AT approach unless he has like a big opportunity to. Got yeah. the yo-yo here coming in as an edge guard opportunity. AT really punishing Quinby here in disadvantage. Doesn't yeah. seem like there's Quinby a lot Quinby's gonna just, be able to do here. He needs to get just a little bit more aggressive and and everything because yeah, not like, a lot of offenses through Quinby at all. Not even dealing damage. Yeah, it really seems like. AT is really, um, I don't know, what's the word, benefiting from this passive play style of Quinn. Beautiful, Looks like he's yeah, stalling I, in the air with PK Flash. Oh, that he, is beautiful. A lot, I've never seen that before. Deep breathing pretty much for free. Oh, it took the jump. What's he going to do? Letting him. That was a nice stall. That was a nice stall. AT always recovers super low there with Ness. Sometimes it scares me because it makes me feel like he's not going to make it back, but he always does. Yeah. Rarely, rarely really see ATSD. Yeah, but we're going to see a lot of a lot of spacing tools coming out from... Finally, salute the sun. Yeah. <laughs> the sun able to take the stock from the a lag that... Uh, bag. He got him back. But yeah, the lag <laughs> from the PK Thunder. Ooh, yep. big spike coming in from AT. Super early kill. Millie Walker. <laughs> Really I love that little turnaround animation. Yeah. I love, I love doing that, like in between stocks, because it looks, it just looks funny. Yeah. It looks like he's oh, he's Millie rocking. <laughs> Almost trying to <laughs> want to go for the disrespect. Ness gang up in here. So what, what do you think they're gonna be banning here? He's definitely gonna be banning FD easily because yeah. we we fit uh, strives in that. Yeah. Um, AT and loves playing and get around these platforms to his advantage. Maybe Kalos too. Yeah, it looks like they go to town. I know Weefy Trainer really likes town because he can kind of camp on the platform, on the mm -hmm. ledge really easily. And those side kills are really things that Weefy Trainer really relies on. I think Ness can go anywhere too. So this, I don't, I don't know if this benefits Quinn B a lot because yeah. Ness is pretty yeah, well Ness's on the stage. Yeah, Ness's yo-yo and back air and nair are all side kills. So possibly benefiting Ness a little bit better than... We fit trainer. However, we are going to see a lot of camping here coming All from right. AT. I have a game. Someone, someone needs to commentate.
What's up? Oh my god, what's up, Wario? Not so, I was just talking to uh, Nibrock about these matchups, but it looks like Quinn kind of has the upper hand right now, but we are going to see him carry him. Yeah, right now he's an advantage, but then one good edge guard. It seems like Andrew's been going deep off stage, too, from Sometimes what I've seen. Make, I feel like Andrew T lets people think they have an advantage just so he can edge guard them. Ooh, That'll big, take it, too, with deep breathing. Big F smash coming in there from Quinn B. Looks like AT's a little bit frustrated with that one. He's definitely going to go as hard as he can right now. Yeah, he's definitely, Does not want to get another stock deficit. Definitely looks a little bit frustrated. He's doing a lot of PK fires. I don't know if that's out of frustration or just pure, like, threat. Yeah. We don't know how... We all know how AT plays when he's pissed off, but let's see how, how he's going to be able to close out this Quinn stock. doing a very good job of avoiding all those back airs and down airs. Yeah, that, that was, that's a lot of hitboxes coming out from Ness. That was great. Nair cutting off the PK fire there from Ness. Not getting the deep breathing. PK fire kind of makes a wall for all of Quinn's uh, like balls and stuff. But at the yeah. same time, it doesn't last that long. And if they go above it, you're screwed. Yeah, we are seeing a lot of mix-ups from Quinn throwing out the sun. Because Ness can absorb that and recover a lot of health. Oh, yeah, especially fully charged. Yeah. Good parry. Excellent parry. The big, biggest counter against Weefit is if you just counter a bunch of, uh, parry a bunch of stuff. Yeah. They're kind of screwed. <laughs> We're seeing, yeah, but we are seeing a lot of projectiles, and we are going to start to see, uh... This is looking so dominant yeah, for Quinn B. Really this is, looks like this is looking so dominant. Right Good air dodge. See? Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Fourth oh, that's going to take it. Here. That's going to take it. Deep breathing fourth throw is Three stocks be able to, to one. Stock. Can Andrew bring it back? Or is Quinn going to take his first game possibly. off of uh, Andrew's Ness in yeah, bracket? I'm pretty sure. Possibly. This is probably why he picked Town and City for those four throws like, on the side. Because oh, yeah. It'll kill really well. Because Andrew T is really good at getting off the ledge. But right there, we are going to see the beer versus magnet in the back air. A classic Ness. Yeah, the classic Ness move. <laughs> like right there, he's looking for the falling... Uh, Magnet into up airs, delaying his landing. So we are going to see a, a little bit more of a passive game coming from Andrew T. Quinn's doing a great job of, uh, you know, shielding every every one of these PK fires. He's not overextending. He's not landing from a full hop too often. Some He's kind of baiting him in, <laughs> in a sense. Yeah, sometimes it kind of looks like Quinn just kind of charges deep breathing in neutral. And shields or air and spot dodges. And like, sometimes I don't even think... He's like doing it to punish him, like, oh, I'm going to shield. I yeah. think he's just doing it like, I'm going to get deep breathing, and I know they're not going to hit me. <laughs> wow. Excellent. And he made it Hunter back. There. That was wonderful. Very, very nice way to get back against Andrew T. Usually very dominant off stage. If he can get deep breathing one more time, I think an upper or backer will definitely take it, even from center yeah. stage. I, I definitely agree. I think Andrew T. It's like our sentence. Have to, looks like he's trying to be a little bit more aggressive right now, trying to not let him get deep breathing. And These PK fires are hitting too. That's what he needs. Back throw, not quite gonna kill. Probably just getting it for the damage. Here this might kill. Okay. Oh, trade Good job. Hitbox. That was a nice trade there. Oh, Going almost, smash. almost reflected that. Slow. If he was Lucas, I might have been able That's to reflect there. That's it. Oh, Ooh, that would have recovered a lot of damage as that well. That would have healed probably about 25%. Honestly. I noticed Andrew air dodges a ton. Dangerous roll there coming from AT. See if PK Thunder can't take the stock. No, not quite. Yo yo. Barely back throw. That's not even gonna take it. Good oh, DI I on Quinn's part. I didn't even realize Quinn B is on This might take it off the top. It, no. I didn't even realize Sends it back Quinn on stage. Ahead an entire stock. Oh yeah. He was three stocks to one. I forgot. Andrew's so bringing it back, but any little hit here is gonna so do it. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Deep, a deep tilt attack will kill him. Because of the invincibility. So we got a ball off stage. Like right there, if a ball hit a him, ball? I think it might take it. A 148's high percent for Ness. Yeah, I feel like Ness is one of the lighter characters in the game. He's super floaty, but a I, forward throw from I like. I really don't see any reason for Quinn B to approach here. No, he can camp he him can out the whole time. Just, even if he wants to, just time him out and hit him with soccer ball. He's just getting a ridiculous amount of damage off. Yeah, just, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna. We're gonna he, see this he, happening again. That, that was 30 percent. He healed about 30, 40 percent. That there. was insane. Probably Come not going to want to use the sun as much if AT, AT is behind a lot. But I don't want to say it, but it feels like Quinn's choking to get this last stock. All the other two were seamless, and this one's just taking him a while. Yeah, it seems like Quinn's trying to be a lot more patient, realizing, hey, I might be able to take a game off of Anything AT. can take this, and I think it's about to but end right here. No jump here from, oh, excellent recovery there. Good get-up attack. Ooh. That would have killed him. That definitely would have killed him right there. B balls <gasps> of steel there coming in from AT, running in while he's charging the sun. Quarter, not quite gonna kill. And you're noticing AT is now he has deep breathing. That would have killed earlier. AT is sitting straight up in his chair. It seems like he is his shield is about to break. I his, really want this his shield, shield to break. His shield is the size of a pebble. 
strategic parry there. Pro possibly would have even broke his shield. Oh my god, he's got to stop Holy. using that move. He's not going to get the kill with that. Way back air. This might Are be game. AT, bring it back? Yep. Wow. That's going to be the game. Dang. That was a very. Really, really he could not clutch game. that out. That was insanely close. Possibly a little bit greedy there for Quinn going for deep breathing all the way off the side. Yeah. I think that AT you can't out. underestimate that. He's going to call it out, and that forward air was just a simple read. Definitely. Not even. It was a reaction. Yeah, that was a solid reaction. That meant them to be able to. That's going to came back easily if he missed as well. Oh, for sure. But like we fit, you take their jump. It's either they stall with deep breathing and they get back, or they get spiked yeah. or fared. Or yeah, there's so a lot of gimps. We're talking about really, uh, really a lot of good things that AT was doing. But how about Quinn taking like? Oh yeah. Early. I feel like he just got he kind of panicked and struggled to take the last stop. I feel like that's how a lot of people feel when they play against AT. Like. They yeah, being a PR nervous. player yeah, or they, post they PR. Feel pre -PR. Like, oh, crap, I might take a game off AT and they start playing completely differently. Yeah. They might either get a little overhyped or a little too head high, but yeah. then. But definitely, definitely a little bit greedy there for Quinn trying to use deep breathing off stage there. It was very good though. That was game two. That was game two. Okay. Uh, so looks like we're gonna see. Um,